Maggie. Hello, my name is Maggie Spence Pellick. I am from the Swampy Cree Nation. Uh, I'm in my second year and I'm studying criminology and Aboriginal studies. The workload is not that bad, but when it does get stressful, I can always come to the Aboriginal Resource Center and there's always support here for me. Um, I'm always able to talk to our elder Morningstar on Mondays and Thursdays and pretty much anyone who's in here you can sit down and have a conversation with them. If there was an ind Indigenous student who was new to the school and they didn't know where to go, um, I would suggest going to the Aboriginal Resource Centre. It can be a little intimidating at first with all the forms you have to fill out and you don't really know anyone, um, but it's definitely worth it. You'll meet a lot of good people and there's a lot to offer here. Some of the programs and services we offer uh, here at the center, we have an elder in residence for our students to be able to consult um, when she's in. She's in twice a week for the moment on Mondays and Thursdays. We have numerous computer stations um, that our students can use. We have uh, free printing, we have free fax, uh, photocopying, Along with the, uh, the services we offer here at the ARC, we also offer uh, every other service that's offered to students here on campus, and we're able to direct them through those, to those services, such as the Writing Help Service, uh, or the uh, Mentorship Center, or the Accessibility Center, uh, should a student need that type of service. Uh, we're able to, to direct our students towards the proper services here on campus, and as well as off campus. Uh, I have numerous contacts as the liaison officer for the Aboriginal Resource Centre with community resources here in Ottawa. The centre uh, brings in beading and other material for beading work. Uh, we offer the space for the students to, to meet and do their beatings, uh, as well as we offer uh, a space uh, for our students, for our Indigenous Student Association to meet and uh, to, to go ahead with their decisions and uh, whatever activity they decide to put on. And today we just capped it off with a uh, celebration of Native culture with uh, a presentation from the three uh, Indigenous groups in Canada. So we had uh, Métis uh, dancers teaching uh, the whoever, because the event was open to uh, all of campus, uh, teaching uh, about jigging. We also had um, Inuit dancers teaching about Inuit dances, and we had uh, First Nation dancers teaching about uh, their dances. So my name is Jonah Mitchell. I'm from originally from Ottawa, but my family uh, is from Akwesasne, the in Mohawk uh, territory, and so I'm from the University of Ottawa, and I'm taking the common law program, but my minor, or what we call as option, is in Aboriginal law. I'm on the executive of the Indigenous Law Students Association, we call it ILSA. I know a lot of other law schools do have their own. Uh, what ILSA is, it's a student-run uh, club specifically for law students. But what the Indigenous Law Students Association is really to help to be supportive of Indigenous students. So. Um, what we do is we help connect with them, uh, post information on Facebook, emails, uh, find out ways we can support them, like connecting with the Aboriginal Resource Centre, with the Elder. We do have regular meetings with the Dean of the Law School and actually recently wrapped up a uh, talking circle where we spent three hours with the Dean and professors and talking about how we can indigenize the uh, university, the faculty, the curriculum and ways that we can be uh, better supportive for the students. So we're definitely helping there to be uh, an advocate and a voice for uh, Indigenous students uh, on campus. And so if someone is an Indigenous student and coming to the University of Ottawa, I would recommend speaking to either us if they're a, a law student or the Indigenous Students Association because I know they're starting to do um, more things this year in terms of connecting for potlucks, uh, beatings, um, drumming, uh, teachings for the elder. So there's definitely a lot of avenues of resources available by being connected with the Indigenous Law Students or with the Indigenous Students Association. Uh, and that's something I would definitely recommend for any student. 
One of the best things that I did, especially coming to law school, was connecting with the Indigenous law students with the Aboriginal Resource Centre and speaking with the Elder. It's definitely helped me feel less alone, more connected, and feeling that I can get through this. If you're thinking that you want to come to school, whether it's law school or any university, reach out, speak with other people, connect with the resources, it'll make things so much better. Remember, this is something that you can get through, it doesn't have to be daunting, and you can have people around here to support you. Take it from me, guys, like 51%, that's what I had in high school. That's my average that I graduated with. And now, like, I have three post-secondary degrees under my belt. That's because I kept going at it. So honestly, and it's not like there's no support, because there's a lot more support now than when I went. So if anything, it's even, it's even easier than when I was there. So just, what are you waiting for?